Bill Batchelder is the fourth generation family member to run and operate the Bemidji Woolen Mills. It was started by his great grandfather in 1920 when he heard about a woolen mills operating in Holmes City, Minnesota. Batchelder's great grandfather and grandfather went to check it out to see if it was something they'd want to bring to Bemidji. They took a train from Bemidji to St. Paul, St. Paul to Alexandria, rode horses out to the, the site of the woolen mills. It took three days to go down. Uh, consummate the deal and come back to Bemidji where today you would drive down in the morning visit all afternoon and then come back in the evening so it takes it kind of shows how the world has changed in a hundred years. The thought process behind it was that a lot of towns had enterprises like creameries, green elevators and post offices. A woolen mill would fit seamlessly in the mix especially since at the time there was a lot of sheep being raised in the area. Now nearly 100 years later the business is still going on strong. Some products are even produced locally here in Bemidji. The original products from Bemidji woolen mills are still very important today. So one of them that we still manufacture is 100% wool quilt batting, comforter for the top of your bed, covered in cheesecloth. They are made exactly the same way today that they were made in 1920. They sell items from wool mittens, the Pendleton Native American blankets, red wing work boots, and Minnesota hand harvested wild rice. The most iconic product bought is a red and black buffalo plaid jack shirt. The shirt comes in every size from size 2 to 52 to fit everybody. We're very fortunate that the red and black buffalo plaid, which has not only overtaken Minnesota or Bemidji, it's taken over Minnesota and you see it nationwide. And back in the 60s and 70s and 80s, you know, we had our red and black buffalo plaid jackets, and now you see it everywhere. The Bemidji Woolen Mills has made sweaters for the governor of Minnesota in 1974, Billy Crystal from Disney's Monsters University, a coat for Nelson Mandela in 1998, and in 2012 when Rick Santorum was running for president. Reporting for this week's In Business, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.